My name is Sean Jackman, and I'm a PhD student with the Nonch Bureau at the BC Cancer Agency's Genome Sciences Centre, where I develop the Abyss Genome Sequence Assembler. In 2012, Amgen reported that they attempted to reproduce 53 landmark cancer papers, and they were only able to reproduce six of those 53. Uh, they didn't, re unfortunately, release the details of those papers and their analysis. <laughs> um, but if the situation is half as bad as that, it's concerning. So reproducible science means that um, a scientist can read a paper, uh, repeat the experiment, uh, generate new data, analyze that data, and come to the same conclusions as the original author. A repeatable analysis, on the other hand, means that you can uh, get the code and the original data from the original author, repeat her analysis, uh, and uh, generate the same results and come to the same conclusion. So science is built on reproducible experiments, and reproducible experiments require repeatable analyses. So to repeat an analysis, you download the data, which requires open science. Uh, you download the software, which requires open source. And then to install that software requires inexhaustible patience uh, and uh, perhaps uh, if you break down hiring the grad student that wrote the software in the first place. So this is a diagram of the dependencies of uh, various software and tools for a kind of medium-sized bioinformatics pipeline. If you had to install all those tools and dependencies by hand, it could take you like up to a week. So now enter Linux Brew and Homebrew. So Homebrew is the insanely popular package manager for Mac OS. If you have a Mac laptop, you might already be familiar with it. And Linux Brew is my port of the Homebrew Package Manager to Linux. So if you have a Linux desktop machine, you probably use your native package manager that comes with your distribution, um, Yum for Red Hat and CentOS, or uh, apt-get for Debian and Ubuntu. Uh, but high-performance computing in science is a, tip, is a different environment. Typically, you don't have pseudo or root access that the native package managers will require to install packages. Uh, Linux Brew, on the other hand, can install software anywhere you want, in, particularly in your home directory. And like any good package manager, it takes care of all recursive dependencies, so it navigates that dependency diagram that I showed you a moment ago. And, um, and you can use, if you're already familiar with Homebrew, you can use the same package manager on your Mac laptop as you do on your Linux server. So that means if, like me, you develop your pipeline on your Mac laptop, you can then deploy that same pipeline on your Linux server when you scale it up using, Linux, using the same package manager. Um, another unique aspect of high-performance computing is that uh, the distributions are often insanely old, like, you know, CentOS 5 from eight years ago. Uh, and so the software that comes with that is equally old. So Linux Brew can install recent versions of uh, the compiler, glibc, and all other dependencies in your home directory, and you can use a modern computing system, even on an old distribution of Linux. Um, so even if you do use a modern distribution of Linux, like Ubuntu, like, which might be a year or two old, um, that's fine if you're using venerable tools, like, say, Mummer 3, which hasn't changed in the last couple of years. But if you're trying to use a tool that was released in, or published in the last year to repeat their analyses and compare to your new novel tool, that might be a bit of a hindrance. Um, so with Linux Brew and, bio, and Homebrew Science, you can have all up-to-date software, including bioinformatics software. You can install um, software from binary packages or, or from source, uh, pre-compiled binary packages. And um, you, for, to um, further repeatable analyses, you can install an entire pipeline of software from a particular date in the past. Uh, unfortunately, not the future. That would be cool. And Homebrew Science is a particular GitHub repository that includes all the science software and the people that contribute to it. So there's a huge community. Um, we benefit from all the work that Homebrew does, which includes 5,700 contributors um, and 450 contributors just for science and uh, 110 for bioinformatics. So it's a huge group of people, and uh, it's great work. Uh, Linux Brew is popular. It has 4,400 users, active users, in the last 30 days. So it works. So open science and open source are critical components of reproducible science. Linux Brew streamlines one important component of that, which is installing software, and uh, makes it easy. So thank you for your attention. <laughs>